All right, I think we're getting closer to that buy signal in the in the metals, gold and silver. Uh, first thing I'm going to look at is the dollar here. I, I kind of warn people that this might happen. <clears throat> we got this a triple top resistance here, and we had a breakout the other day, but I warned that the, the breakout was occurring very late in the intermediate cycle, and usually those don't produce sustained moves. Same thing with the breakdown, breakdown that occurs late in an intermediate cycle also uh, usually doesn't produce a sustained move lower and that's uh, so far anyway that's what's happening here we've got the uh, the the breakout above this uh, resistance zone we had a, a bunch of attempts to get above it and it finally did and then it, it looks to me like smart money uh, sold into that breakout that's what causes these uh, reversals um, is when um, big money institutional investors when they're anticipating a trend change they'll um, a lot of times they'll just manufacture these breakouts and breakdowns and then they'll exit their position so if they if they in this particular case if they got have a position long the dollar and they've been long for a very long time then this is the point at which you would want to try and um, get out uh, so you manufacture this breakout uh, hedge funds, retail traders, they all um, assume that the breakout means that the dollar is going a, a lot higher. And then these big institutional investors, they sell their position to the uh, uh, the dumb money, so to speak, that's buying that breakout. You really don't want to uh, push these breakouts and breakdowns uh, when when they occur late in, the, in an intermediate or even a daily cycle, because more often than not, they don't uh, produce a sustained move. And so it's starting to look like um, the, the dollar is at least moving down into a daily cycle low. So let me um, let me put the RSI on here. All right, so uh, you can see uh, the dollar is below the 10-day moving average. The 10-day moving average is starting to turn down, and uh, we've got a very marginal break of this uh, uptrend line. So the, the odds are pretty good that the dollar is at least dropping down into a daily cycle low. Now this is um, where we'll, we will know whether this is going to turn into a larger degree intermediate decline. If that's the case, then this is probably going to uh, continue, um, although we will get a bounce here at some point, but it'll continue for about six to eight weeks. So uh, I'm going to just keep track of the RSI here. You can see during the advancing phase uh, of an uh, intermediate cycle, the RSI doesn't doesn't tend to hold these oversold conditions for very long before it rallies again. And then it more often than not, it'll embed the RSI in the overbought condition. So we're, we're getting pretty close here. Um, if we break this trend line, maybe tomorrow or, or Monday, and, and this gets uh, pushes down into the oversold condition, and then we bounce quickly, then we, we may not be done. And, and we could break out again and, and try and make higher highs and maybe you know we're headed to 110 or 120. Uh, however if if this breaks this uh, trend line and then um, RSI gets oversold but then it starts to embed in the oversold condition similar to how it embedded in the overbought condition that would be an indication that we're now starting the uh, declining phase of the intermediate cycle. And, uh, and then you would expect this to drop down into a daily cycle low, kind of embed this RSI for uh, several days, and then you get a bounce, but the bounce is not strong enough to uh, embed the RSI again. So what, what would happen is maybe you get a little oversold here and it kind of stays oversold for a few days, and then you get that rally out of the daily cycle low and it, uh, RSI comes up here, but then immediately turns back down once it tags the overbought condition. That would be our confirmation that the dollar has started an intermediate decline. So now let me move to gold and silver. All right, so I, as most of you know that have been watching these videos, I'm um, can, quite bullish on the, on the metals right now. I'm not uh, as bullish on the energy simply because the, uh, like the XLE, the energy stocks are just, um, they're stretched too far above the 200-day moving average for me. That that's a uh, a cautionary um, signal that you could get a strong regression event. And I'm and and I think stocks are in a bear market. We are due for a bear market rally, but there's still 
um, a small chance that you know if they can't get some traction here pretty quick that that we could really have um, a nasty crash event uh, in the stock market now if the dollar continues to roll over i think that would help um, stocks to rally as well and, and give us that bear market rally that um, is due uh, but for gold you can see we've um, it has um, or it's trying to close above this 10-day moving average if the if this daily cycle has bottomed and this should be an intermediate cycle low as well then um, it will uh, continue to hold above that 10-day moving average the moving average will turn and start to move higher and then this uh, RSI will get up here and it will start to embed in the overbought condition like it did here during the advancing phase of this rally so uh, that's what I'm watching here in in gold and then real quickly for silver um, the false breakdown again you know same principle breakdowns that occur late in a cycle don't usually produce sustained moves you know this whole collapse in silver looks very fishy to me uh, it's it looks to me like big money is, is thinking the same way that I am that that metals are going to be the place to be here um, maybe for the next two or three months and so they want to manufacture a really good entry at the bottom so they've been just shorting the crap out of silver trying to break this thing down uh, they did manage to push it um, below this support zone uh, all of the you know hedge funds and the dumb money panic they're selling and it, it looks to me like the the smart money that that I'm pretty confident uh, created this whole debacle here use that panic selling so that they could load up uh, down here at the bottom and, and um, get into long positions in preparation for what I think could be a, a very nice rally in the metals uh, maybe one that finally gets up here and tests this $30 um, zone of this long consolidation and and again if we get a really powerful move and we get to $30 quickly then then we could get a breakout and go to $50 um, as I always say I like to give things the benefit of the doubt you know if you don't then you're never going to be on board for when one of these really strong you know big trending moves occur if you're always um, anticipating the worst then then you're it's not possible for you to ride any of these big moves because you're you're always anticipating that it's going to short circuit but but one of these is going to is going to get us there you know we were a couple days away from it here uh, and then we got the attack on gold and that kind of um, uh, canceled or ended the move in silver a day or two early but uh, again you know we're um, I think we're starting an intermediate degree advance we'll have to see you know how we get past options expiration tomorrow but I, I think we're starting an intermediate advance I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because one of these times it's it's going to be that rally that gets us uh, to thirty dollars and and beyond um so uh, you know I'll, I'll get my signal hopefully i'm going to get it next week it's uh it's a little premature right now although this does look constructive being above the um, 10 day moving average but there's a good chance that we're going to have a cartel attack tomorrow so uh, i'm going to hold off judgment until uh, early next week and then uh, we may get that signal i'm looking for that tells me it's it's time to get positioned for a, a two to three month intermediate rally